Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to compare and order integers. So we will be working with positives and negatives here. We will start with comparing and then move on to ordering. For comparing, we will go through three examples where we will use a number line to help us compare, and then we will move on to three more examples where we will not use a number line. Now, when comparing integers, it can be helpful to visualize the integers on a number line. Just remember, the further right on a number line, the greater the value. Numbers increase in value as we go right on a number line. On the other hand, the further left, the smaller the value. Numbers decrease in value as we go left on a number line. Let's jump into number one, where we have negative one is greater than, less than, or equal to negative two. Well, let's take a look at the number line. Negative one is right here, and negative two is right here. So looking at that number line, which integer is further to the right? That means it's going to be greater in value. Negative one is further right. Negative one is greater than negative two. So let's fill in our comparison here. And remember, we want the comparison symbol opening up towards the greater value. So like this. And we can read this comparison from left to right as negative one is greater than negative two. Now, before we move on to number two, I do wanna mention a couple of things here. When we compare two negatives, the one closer to zero is going to be greater. The one closer to zero is further to the right. So that's just a slightly different way of thinking about it when we have two negatives. And another thing I like to do when comparing integers is relate it to temperature, and that can help us think through these. For example, is negative one degree Fahrenheit or Celsius here, it doesn't matter the unit, is that warmer or colder than negative two degrees? Negative one is warmer by one degree. It's a higher temperature than negative two degrees. So negative one is greater. So there are different ways to think through these. Use what works best for you. Moving on to number two, we have negative five is greater than, less than, or equal to three. Let's take a look at the number line. Three is right here and negative five is right here. So which of those is further to the right? Well, three, three is greater than negative five. So reading this comparison from left to right, negative five is less than three. Now with number two, we have a negative and a positive. Keep in mind, whenever we have a negative and a positive, the positive is always going to be greater than the negative. And relating this to temperature, which is going to be warmer? Which is going to be the greater temperature? Negative five degrees or three degrees? Three degrees. Moving on to number three, we have zero is greater than, less than, or equal to negative four. Let's take a look at the number line. Zero is right here and negative four is right here. Zero is further to the right on the number line. Therefore, it's greater than negative four. So reading this from left to right, zero is greater than negative four. And to go off of this, whenever we have zero and a negative, zero is always going to be greater than a negative. Let's move on to number four, where we have negative 95 is greater than, less than, or equal to six. Well, we have a negative and a positive here the positive is automatically greater than the negative. And thinking in terms of a number line, six is going to be further to the right than negative 95. So reading this from left to right, negative 95 is less than six. Taking a look at number five now, we have negative 14 is greater than, less than, or equal to negative 11. 
So we have two negatives here. Which one is closer to zero? Which one is further to the right on a number line? Or if we're thinking temperature, which is the warmer temperature? However we want to think about it, negative 11 is greater. So reading this from left to right, negative 14 is less than negative 11. Lastly, taking a look at number six, we have negative 27 is greater than, less than, or equal to negative 29. So we have two negatives again here. So which one is closer to zero? Which one is further to the right on a number line? That's going to be negative 27. Negative 27 is greater. So reading this from left to right, negative 27 is greater than negative 29. So there's how to compare integers. Let's move on to ordering integers. Now let's take a look at ordering integers. We will go through two examples where we will use a number line to help us out, and then we will move on to two more examples where we will not use a number line. Let's jump into number one, where we need to order these integers from least to greatest. We'll start by marking them on the number line. Zero is first, which is right here. Then we have negative two, then negative one, then four, and lastly, negative five. So again, we want least to greatest here. And remember, the further left, the smaller the value. The further right, the greater the value. So the integer furthest to the left will be our least, which we need to start with. That's going to be negative five. So let's start with negative five. And now we can go from there. All we need to do is work our way right. We increase in value as we go right. So we're working our way from least to greatest. So next is going to be negative two, then negative one, then zero, and then lastly, the greatest, four. And now we are in order from least to greatest. We're done. So negative five, negative two, negative one, zero, and four. Now, before moving on to number two, I do want to mention, just like when we compare integers, I like to relate this to temperature to help us think through these. Negative five degrees is the coldest temperature here, and we work our way up to the warmest temperature, four degrees. So just a different way to think through these. Let's move on to number two, where we need to order these integers from greatest to least. Let's put these on the number line, starting with three. So three is right here. Next is negative three. Then we have five, then one, and then lastly, negative two. Now we need to go from greatest to least. So we need to start with the integer furthest to the right on the number line. That's five. So we will start with five, and we need to work our way left now. We decrease in value as we move left, so we are going from greatest to least. Next is three. Then we have one, then negative two, and then lastly, the least here, negative three. And now we are in order from greatest to least. Five, three, one, negative two, and negative three. Let's move on to numbers three and four. Taking a look at numbers three and four, let's jump into number three here first, where we need to order these from least to greatest. So we need to start with the least. So which of these is the furthest to the left on a number line? Or think which of these is the lowest or coldest temperature? However we think about it, that's going to be negative 19. That's the furthest to the left on the number line. So our least, negative 19, so we will start there. And I'm actually going to cross negative 19 off in our original list in order to help us stay organized and focus on what's left. Now looking at what's left, 
Well, we need to work our way to the greatest. So what's the next lowest in value? We have negative 10, 20, 6, and negative 11. So try to picture a number line here, and we are working our way right from negative 19. Negative 11 is next. So negative 11, and I'll cross that off. And now we have negative 10, 20, and 6. So negative 10 is next. And now we are down to the last two, 20 and 6. Well, 6 is next, and 20 is the greatest. So 6, and then 20. So we have all of our integers there, and we are in order from least to greatest. Negative 19, negative 11, negative 10, 6, and 20. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we need to order these from greatest to least. So let's start with the greatest. So which of these is furthest to the right on a number line? We have negative eight, 17, negative 18, 10, negative seven, and negative 12. The greatest is 17. Let's start there. So 17 and cross that off. So looking at what we have left, negative eight, negative 18, 10, negative seven, and negative 12, 10 is going to come next. That's actually the only positive number left. So that's going to be after 17 here. Now we have negative eight, negative 18, negative seven, and negative 12. So we are working our way left on a number line. So next is negative seven. And now we are down to three, negative eight, negative 18, and negative 12. Next is negative eight. And we are down to two here, negative 18 and negative 12. Negative 12 is next. That will bring us to our last integer here, the least, negative 18. And now we are in order from greatest to least. 17, 10, negative 7, negative 8, negative 12, and negative 18. So there you have it. There's how to compare and order integers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.